Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm here to do a video on the 10 things that I don't want to do without. I don't want to live without. I was tagged by two of my dear friends, Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. And I had the pleasure of spending a day with Kathy and Jennifer from the channel Jennifer Loves. Even though I haven't met Jennifer, she is my Midwest sister. She grew up exactly one hour from where I live. We definitely have a Midwest connection, and I'm going to link both of their videos below, and I hope you go watch them because I enjoy both of them so much. Before they even uploaded their video, both of them asked me if they could tag me, and I thought, I said, sure, I can come up with 10 things that I don't want to live without. And before they even put up their videos, I was on my computer and I listed 10 things that I couldn't live without, that I didn't think I could live without. And I'm glad I did because I've heard several other people do this and I think it would have swayed me. So I'm going to stick with my original list that I have here. And my very first thing is I could not live without my faith in God, my family, and my friends. That is number one, and I don't need to say anything more than that, but I could, everything, it is all good as long as I have God. That is what I believe. And the second thing that I cannot live without is my pillow classic. And I am going to put a link either at the end of this video or below or somewhere. I've had my pillow classic for over five years. And I did a review on it, and I, I had no idea that it was such a polarizing subject at the time. And I'll show you my pillow classic. I, I think I had more hate on that video five years ago than I have had on any other video. I mean, th there's people that just don't like it. I even, here I'm going to bring mine out. Mine's five years old. I, I still have the tag because I don't want to be arrested. What is it? Don't remove under penalty of law. Well, I heard so many things about it that I cut my pillow and inspected what was on the inside and it was perfect. I wash this every month. I dry it in the dryer. It is just perfect for me. I can mold it any way that I want it and it stays. You know, I'm a back sleeper, so I will, you know, kind of get my hand in there and make a little hole and I'll put my head there if I want to go on my side for a, sometimes, you know, you kind of get tired. I just put my head at the very end of the pillow and, and I love it. And I, it just works for me. So I'm not tempted to try any other pillows. And on top of my pillow, I ha always have a silk pillowcase, a real silk pillowcase. And I've used real silk pillowcases before I knew YouTube videos existed. Prior to Real Silk, I used satin, and prior to that, I used a nylon slip, a half slip. I would sew up the, the waistband, and I stuck it on my pillow. But the very best, and you're seeing so much now about Real Silk and how good it is. It is good for you. It's good for your skin. It, it keeps your hair from getting frizzy. It does not pull moisture from your face or from your hair. And it's very hygienic. I just change mine once a week. A lot of people will change their pillowcases every few days. I don't have oily skin and I don't have, well, I'm not on my, you know, I don't have my face in my pillow. But I, there's several different kinds of silk pillowcases. And in my experience, anywhere from a 16 mom, and that's spelled M-O-M-M-E, -M -M -E, that is the weight of the silk that is in the pillowcase. I think this is a 20, I think, I know this is a 25 and it, this is zippered because I write, yeah, this is, uh, I, like I write where I bought these, this is Windjoy and it's a 25. Uh, my friend Jackie from upstate New York recommended this and this is a 16, but I tell you what, it feels wonderful. So really, anything above a 16 mom, uh, it's called a lot of times mulberry silk, but you really, to get all the benefits, you really want a silk pillowcase. And I have seen them as high as $100 a piece. And I used to 
years ago when I bought my first one. I'm, I'm, get, I'm thinking it was like $80. But I have quite a few silk pillowcases. I bought all of them but one. And the one that I didn't buy did not have silk on that whole pillow. It was like the top was silk and the bottom wasn't. And that's Jim like silk pillowcases too now. And that's the one he uses. I rotate a couple of them for him. But I like to put my hand underneath my pillow and I like the way it feels. So that is something that I know I can live without, but I don't want to live without. You know, I love coffee and I drink a couple of cups of coffee every morning and I have half and half in it. And I've been drinking out of the same cup since before Jim. And that what it says on it is the difficulty in life is the choice. And I just find this to be very true. So I put my half and half in here, warm it up. And I know I talk about this a lot, but I love this. Then I get my frother that has a little wheel that, and I press the button and that little thing goes 19,000 times really fast, froths up my coffee, pour it in there and I have wonderful coffee. I used to kind of be a coffee snob. And I only wanted fresh beans, and then I would grind them. And I, for some reason, I'm thinking I used to order from someplace in New Hampshire, and I think it was Mike's coffee. I don't know, I can't remember, but that was just something I did for years and years. And I worked in a hospital, and one time I was going over to one of the doctor's offices, and I was in her private office and I said oh my gosh this smells so good this coffee what is it you're drinking and she said Folgers Colombian and I thought oh my gosh I've got to give that a try well I bought it and I've never special ordered coffee again I always buy it in this size it's a Folgers 100% Colombian I like to get it in the in the medium dark this one is the medium but it's still really good. And in the carry, this is what we like, the Cafe Bustello, and it's delicious. So that makes me happy. So I'm not sure how many of I'm gonna count that for, maybe one or two things, I don't know. But the next thing I wanna talk about is my chair in the living room. And I'm gonna try to take a picture of it. It's a big leather chair. And I bought it, I think, in 1995. And what is so special, that's where I sit. That's where I, when I am editing my videos, when most of the time when I'm watching my videos, I sit there and I use the ear earplugs and Jim's in the living room watching television. And it's just the most fabulous chair. Well, one time, I think it was New Year's Eve 2001, and I was babysitting with my daughter's oldest son and my son's oldest son. And my son's oldest, and it's so hard not to mention names, but I try not to. Uh, my son's oldest son was 10 months old and my daughter's oldest son, he was a little over three. Well, the baby was not a happy camper. I don't know if he did, he just didn't feel good. So I got up and we sat in that chair. I had both those kids around my arms and they had plenty of room and I rocked and I rocked and I rocked and I literally rocked all night long. And they were comfortable and I was comfortable. And I was so impressed with how wonderful that chair was that that year I bought my son a one just exactly like mine and then come to find out my daughter was pregnant with her second child and so the end of that year I bought her one but you know I just don't think you can beat real leather I think it gets prettier with age I bought this one for in here and it will outlive me but I don't want to do without my leather chair especially the one that I have in the living room last year I bought an Apple watch and it did not agree with my skin there was nothing I could do I broke out underneath it so I went with a Fitbit and I bought it May of 2019. Well, it quit working, oh, probably about a month and a half ago. It would not register. I, and you can't use the watch unless you have the app on your phone. Well, I tried everything to find. I mean, I, did, I went to the Fitbit website. I followed all their instructions. I went to YouTube and followed all the instructions. So I finally called the company. 
but before I even called the company, I got online and I searched for a Fitbit Versa Light, and I'll put the name up here. It's not the newest that they have, but what I really like about it, it monitors my sleep, it monitors my heart, it monitors my steps. If my phone is in the other room and it rings and I don't hear it, it'll tell me that my phone's ringing and I can look down and see who it is. And I didn't have one for about a week and I really missed it. So before I even called the company to talk about this, I thought I'm gonna order one because I don't wanna wait. So I ordered one and I believe I ordered it from Kohl's and I got it in and got it set up and then I called Fitbit because I thought I don't wanna just have a watch that doesn't work that I could get it, get it working and give it to somebody. Well, I called them and they went through everything that I had done and they were super nice. But because it was over a year old, they could not do anything but send me a discount for another watch. Well, they said they'd send it through the email and when I got it, I opened it up and it was 25% off. And I think the watch on their website was $159.90 something and 25% off, that would have made the watch $119, and I know I paid less than that strictly when I ordered it from Kohl's. So anyway, I don't want to do it without my watch. I was a little disappointed. My watch only lasted like 15 months before it died, but I will tell you, if my new watch only lasts for a year, that's like $8 and a quarter a month. That's to average it out how much, and I would definitely pay that amount because I really do rely on it a lot. And it'll do a whole lot more things than what I use it for. There's a stopwatch, there's a timer, which I use a timer. But it's really, well, it's been really important. And I it comes with two bands, two different lengths of bands, but they're plastic. And I don't care for that plastic. So I ordered Jim and I ordered, I ordered myself a tan one, this color, and a black one from Amazon and I ordered Jim a black one for his watch, a leather band that just, to me, I like so much better. So sometimes it really pays not to get the newest version of something. You can save some money that way. And I have an iPhone. I have an iPhone, the, the plain iPhone 10. And then I'm filming with my old iPhone, which was an iPhone 7. It would be very hard for me to do without my smartphone. This helps me so much. I, in fact, Jim even has an iPhone. He had a flip phone and he saw all the things I can do with mine and he wanted one too. S-I-R-I, -I, I won't say her name, but I can just, I mean, like I can just say, hey Siri, what's the population of New York City? And she'll tell me. As of 2019, the population of New York City was 8,336,817. Anyway, I mean, I find out so much information and something that is, I mean, there's so many things that can help you. Like I can say right now, hey Siri, turn on my flashlight. It's on. You know, anyway, I know you can do that on any phone, but I absolutely love it for so many reasons. Hey Siri, turn off my flashlight. It's off. And one of the things I don't want to live without is my iPhone case. It's it's leather. It's by Sheldon Leather. It has that RFID or whatever protection for your credit cards. I have my medication list, some cash. I just love this. I just absolutely love it. It has a kickstand. You know, you can watch TV on it if you want. But I wouldn't buy a phone if I couldn't get a Sheldon Leather iPhone case or Android. They make all different kinds, but I just, it makes my life easier. And I guess the other thing is in 2015, I bought a, a MacBook Pro. I tell you that is, it's so intuitive for what I need it for. I edit my videos on iMovie and it's just so easy to use. Jim has a, an, a laptop, a, I think an HP laptop. If he wants me to show him how to do something, I tell you what, I, I'm, I can hardly do it at all. So I really appreciate having that. They're wonderful about updating. 
it seems like that you'll I can always have my MacBook and I won't probably have to replace it. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me, but I love it. You know I love my superhero mascara. When I before I apply my mascara, I brush my lashes with a clean old mascara wand. And then within I do like 15 swipes without even going back in, I do 15 on the other. I comb my lashes and I have mascara on from morning to night. It never flakes and it's just the best mascara for me that I've ever found. So I don't want to do without Superhero and they'll probably quit making it and I'll tell you what will be my favorite then. It'll be the Thrive. I bought some of that. I talked about it in the video but that will be, if, if they quit making Superhero, I think it'll be Thrive will be my number one. And how can I do a video about things I don't want to live without without talking about my Floxite mirror? And I'm going to put a picture of it. It's six and a half inches wide. It's 15 times magnification. I will tell you, I could not do my skin care without it. I can really examine my skin. I can tell early if something is, is aggravating me. I can tweeze my eyelashes. I can look in my eye to see if there's something in it. I, I don't put my makeup on with that mirror, but that has enabled me to be able to, to know what my skin needs. I go a lot by feel, how my skin feels at night, depending on what I'm going to do, but I actually to see it and to actually look at the wrinkles and see how deep they are and to be able to assess my skin and see if a product's helping me, I, I love it. I've had mine for over 14 years. And the last thing is Retin-A. I love what it's done for my skin. I, my skin, I know I look older than I did when I started Retin-A in, uh, that was, uh, it'll be six years this month that I started Retin-A. I look older, but my skin looks better than it did 15 years ago. I know it does. My skin barrier is intact. My skin is healthy. I, I see a lot of benefits from Retin-A, and if I thought for a moment there was anything harmful in it, I wouldn't use it at all. But if you live in the United States and you want to buy your Retin-A in the United States, go to GoodRx.com. I checked this morning, and in our area, 45 gram tube, and that's the largest tube that I know of. There's a 20 gram tube and then a 45 gram tube. The 45 gram tube lasts me well over a year. And right, it's anywhere from $62 to $65. You know, $62 for over a year. I mean, that's right about $5 a month. But I know you kind of have to change up pharmacies. You know, you need to get a prescription from your doctor and go to one pharmacy one time, and then the next year go to another pharmacy and use your GoodRx coupon. But it, it works for anybody whether you have insurance or not and if you're lucky your insurance will pay for it and if you're still here this is going to be a giveaway i am excited one of my 50 dollars e-gift card winners never claimed their gift so instead of giving two 50 dollars e-gift cards i am going to give three so i will have three winners and of course you have to be 18 years old or older be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live it is international, and I, I mean, I'm trying to think what I want you to say in the comment section below. So if you're interested in winning a $50 e-gift card or a PayPal deposit, uh, in the comment section below, just tell me something that you would not want to uh, live without. I absolutely love reading the comments, and I'm really interested to see the things you don't want to live without. I am not going to tag anybody, but anybody, is, just feel free to do this and let me know that you did it so I can watch your video. It is all good. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're staying safe, and uh, I appreciate you very, very much. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. An Apple Watch and my... I think it absolutely, I, I, I can't beat it. I know, hey Siri, I put there.